Hey guys, I'm on my way to Mission, Texas to try Buena Vida. It's about 47 degrees outside, which is considered cold weather for South Texas, but it's gonna be a good day. I've seen their Instagram. I went through their social media. The food looks great. The owner actually sent me a message. He sent me a voice message, but it kind of got lost throughout all my messages. I went back to it. And that's why I started looking them up. It looks good. They have no idea I'm coming. I'm just gonna drop in. So that's the place right there. It's a bit hidden. Uh, this plaza I'm in, that's Sherry Road over there. So it's a pretty busy road. So you actually have to come and drive in here to know this plaza is here because I'd never heard of it. it. Actually looks fairly new. The shop's on first. I think the owner said they used to be called Cocinita, which is a spot I've tried before. And I believe he said they were featured by Texas Monthly, so it's gotta be good. Hello guys, this is Evan Garcia with Buena Vida Mexican Cuisine. Just trying to give you guys an invite. We have innovative style in our cuisine. It's a uh, global food with a Mexican twist. I uh, hope you guys can come give us a try. I promise you'll enjoy it. Well, I, I used to travel the world for like 12, 13 years. I used to work for Chef, uh, Chevron. I was a shutdown specialist. So every time I would go anywhere, go to South Africa, Australia, anywhere, I'd go eat, try different cuisines, different uh, peri peri chicken styles. Uh, that's how I learned how to put papaya on the fajita and stuff like that. So I just bought a bit of that over here. Like when I was in Portugal, I learned how to do a pulpo al pastor, but the pulpo at Estilo Galilea, then we put our pastor on it. So just make it a little bit. How many years have you been in the, in the food industry? Uh, about going on my third year right now. How's your journey been so far? It's been fun. You meet a lot of cool people. You uh, meet a lot of people that give you inspiration to try to be better, do better. And uh, so overall, it's been it's been great. Like I just love it. I love to interact with people. I like to socialize. So, uh, we came out on Texas Monthly last year. Uh, for a uh, former alias. Uh, that was one of my proudest moments, to be honest, because I was able to shed light on who we really are. Um, it really motivated us to do even better and try to be better. So that's really why we came over here. I know Breaking Border have a little standalone, so we can have the freedom to do what we want to be able to serve people what we feel is good. Everybody's been giving me a lot of accolades on that. They've been loving the food a lot. Um, I'm, I love getting that feedback because it lets me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, so I can do better and be better. But uh, so far, everybody's been loving it, and I'm very grateful for y'all to come giving us a try. For everyone that's been coming, giving us an opportunity, I'm very grateful. Thank you, and I'm glad we were able to show you guys a different style of Mexican cuisine. Okay, so I sat down, and they quickly brought me the menu, and they had all kinds of stuff. Different antojitos, different plates, it made it really hard to pick because everything looked so good. As you can see, they have a kid's menu. Here on the Chef Favorites, I knew right off the bat I wanted the Buena Vida pack because it had more than one item. And I wanted to try a little bit of everything, so I knew that was going to be perfect. And for the tacos, I wanted to try their pork belly, so I knew that was going to be fire because the description just made it sound so good. The chips and the salsa were both warm and I personally love that because that means they're made in-house and also means they were recently made. The salsa was nice and chunky and it was, mm, I would say about a, maybe like a seven spice level. It had a lot of flavor. The chips were nice and crunchy. This was a really good appetizer to start with. I didn't order the chicharrones, but Evan, the owner, brought them out because he wanted me to try them. They were nice and hot. They were just made right on the spot. And I don't know if people dip them in salsa. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to eat them, but I mean, they were good on their own, but I still decided to dip them in some of that salsa. And these were incredible guys. And like I've said before, when I go to a restaurant and they serve you beans, that is usually how I judge if the food is gonna be good. If they care enough to make some good beans for you, then that means they care about the details and everything is gonna be great. And sure enough, these did not disappoint as you can see they have great color and color means flavor so yeah these were delicious and just feast your eyes on this crazy looking board i ordered as many items as i could afford that day here we have their pork belly tacos the order has three tacos which comes with that blue corn tortilla caramelized onions pineapple and a cucumber relish i didn't ask where they source their tortillas but they look pretty crafty i wouldn't be surprised if they make them themselves or get them locally these lunches are part of the buena vida pack which I ordered and it comes with two of these babies with your choice of meat. I went with some al pastor because 
that whole week I had just been craving al pastor tacos. So lunches are something people are super picky with because a lot of places don't know how to make them. But rest assured, these are great. You'll enjoy them. Also, with the Buena Vida pack, you get two tacos again with your choice of meat. And once again, I went with al pastor. And man, these were amazing. The salsas are so good. I think you can't go wrong with whichever one you try. They were delicious. I really enjoyed my tacos. And I don't know, I was just in an al pastor mode that I even ordered that as my meat for my sincronizada, which had a really good tortilla de harina. I don't regret getting this and I really recommend it, especially if it's your first time coming here and you want to get a taste of what the restaurant is all about. And this is their version of a Mexican burger. As you can see, it's got a cheese crust. The patty is a tri-blend of brisket, chuck and ribs. It has fajita, bacon. It had a chipotle aioli and some grilled onions. And and man, this thing was huge. It was such a beast. I only took a few bites. It also comes with some fries. The fries were pretty fire as well. And you get the option to build your own burger. So definitely check that out. And just when I thought I was done, Evan brought me out a taco that's, it's actually an off the menu taco. So I was pretty surprised. You can see right there. I'm like, oh, what is this? It actually looked super good. It had fajitas, it had shrimp, some cheese, all on a flour tortilla. I don't even know what they call this taco or if it's even on the menu already. But if you're there and you want to try it, I would just show them the video and tell them I want this taco. I'm sure they'll make it for you. And last but not least, I also got to try some dessert. This is a protein peanut butter and jelly French toast. And man, this was light, it was sweet. It was the perfect way to end the evening. I recommend this 100%. The food was amazing. Everything was incredible. They're really putting their own twists um, on everything here. And man, it was a great experience. You guys have to come check this out. Buena Vida in Mission, Texas.